This is the NWI.com daily update for Friday, February 5th. In Friday's edition of The Times, we reported more on the corruption charges against East Chicago Mayor George Pabay and his co-defendant, City Supervisor Jose Camacho. Both men pled not guilty Thursday to charges that they conspired to funnel city money and resources toward the renovation of a house Pabay owns, along with his daughter, in Gary's Miller neighborhood. And The Times exclusively reported that no building permit was issued by the city of Gary, even though thousands of dollars of work was done on the inside and concrete was poured on the outside. In Illinois, Governor Pat Quinn didn't have much time to savor his primary victory as controversy ballooned for his potential running mate, Scott Lee Cohen, a relative unknown who won the Democratic Lieutenant Governor primary. Cohen refused to drop out of the race, even as he admitted using steroids and answered questions about domestic violence allegations involving his ex-wife and an ex-girlfriend who was a prostitute. Meanwhile, on the Republican side of the governor's race, State Senator Bill Brady had the slimmest of leads over State Senator Kirk Dillard in a vote that looks headed for a recount. On Friday morning, it was a bit of a mixed bag for the economy. The January unemployment rate dropped to 9.7 percent, but that couldn't keep the Dow from falling below 10,000 in morning trading. In sports, Paul Trimbaki will be reporting from Miami all weekend for Super Bowl 44, talking with local players like the Saints' Pierre Thomas, along with local residents down there for the big game. We'll also have all of the prep hoops action on Friday night. Uh, and you can visit our weekly chat from 10 to 11 p.m. where our sports writers will share their insights on Friday night's games. Finally, in Saturday's edition, you'll find out it's not too late to get, a, get your Valentine a cool gift to show how much you appreciate them. From flowers to cool home items, we'll show you some options. Enjoy your Super Bowl weekend, and for the latest news, come back to NWI.com.